Yeah, I definitely would say we would. I mean, we put put up close to 500 yards of total offense. You know, it's definitely an improvement over the previous weeks. I think the issue now is just capitalizing. We get a drive going, we kind of shoot ourselves in the foot, and when you only score four touchdowns per 500 yards, that's obviously what it points to. Yeah, I felt the same. I felt we got a little bit of momentum, but like you said, shot ourselves in the foot in the second half, and we got to build on that this week. What's the travel? Is it, a, is it something that accumulates over time that can wear you down? Can you notice that? Uh, I don't know. I. I, I think there's just like if you look at people in the military and certain branches and special forces and stuff like that, they do so much more and I think the human mind's capable of more than that. So I think we just can't pay attention to that sort of thing. And I think you just gotta play each week is the only game you're playing that week and I feel like the travel just can't, you can't let it affect you. What's the confidence level like going into the game this weekend knowing that you guys can put up that many yards on the offense? Well, I mean we know what we can do. Uh, we showed bits and pieces of it last week, bits and pieces of it against Boise State. We have to just completely come together and have a perfect game. Not perfect game, but a complete game this week. And we, we can come out and beat these guys. Yeah, I think each guy individually, uh, everyone has confidence in themselves and has confidence in the, the next guy. So I think it really is just putting the pieces of the puzzle together and just, like Josh said, playing a uh, complete game. It's funny, you guys are both tight ends. How how is the offense's use of all of you guys changed this season compared to maybe the past? Well, I mean, we have three or four tight ends that can start. You know, it doesn't it doesn't matter who's in the game. We all know we can we can come in and play. Whether it's Ty, Eller, Ty, or Jordan, or myself, we all know when someone comes in, it's not going to drop off. It's going to be the same level of intensity and, and play. Yeah, and we have a good blend of skills and talent, and I think we all just mesh well and. We all bring different strengths to the table, and we cover for each other's weaknesses in our games. So, Coach said, you know, the team's improved tremendously at quarterback <clears throat> between the two of them. Um, from your perspective, what have you seen out of them? You know, going through that rough stretch and then going four for four in the red zone last week. Uh, I mean, I think honestly, all three of them, even if you include Rob Quinson, I, they've all shown a ton of improvement. It's just they're getting more comfortable back there, more comfortable with the offense. Uh, they're getting it. They're just learning kind of what routes will come open when. If the timing's improving, I just think it's just the time that a quarterback needs to spend with the offense is starting to show. Yeah, I'd have to say the same. Uh, you know, Mike came from a JC last year, and it's a different different level of football from JC to, to the Division One level. So it took him a little bit of games to get used to it, but he's definitely coming around. His throws are a lot better. His timing's better, and it'll show this week. I mean, scheme wise, they're they're pretty unique, but I think if you're going to compare them, it's to probably to Boise State, I think you have a lot of guys that are very uh, strong-willed, very tough, very physical, and they really believe in their scheme. And uh, they play hard, and they're not going to get out of their gap and miss an assignment. So they're going to be very sound. Yeah, very disciplined. You know they're going to be at. I mean, we know where they're going to be at because they run the same defenses pretty much most of the time. So they just got to execute. We got to execute, and it'll be a good game.